Hello, Noon Life family. Uh, we got a couple of announcements for you here this week. First and foremost, if you are a member of New Life Community Church, uh, we have elder nominations and we got just about one week left to be able to get those nominations in. So if you're looking at this online, look in the description here on YouTube and you will see a link where you can click on it and it'll take you to a form where you can uh, submit your nominations. You also, if you're seeing this on a Sunday morning, just head to the information booth. You'll see these yellow pieces of paper, fill it out, drop it into the offering box, and uh, there you go. You'll be all set. So we'd love to get those nominations in of uh, who has that tightest level, you know, description of what it means to be an elder. So we appreciate that. Um, Trunk or Treat is only one week away and we could still use candy. So if you can donate candy, if you are bringing a car, we encourage you to still bring candy yourself to start off the night. Uh, the candy that we've collected is to supplement the night. We are expecting a good showing this year, so we just wanna make sure that we uh, treat the community right, that uh, the community knows that the best trunk or treat is at NLCC. That will be on October 29th, at from 6 to 9 p.m. So if you're not if you're not serving or volunteering and you got little kids, hey, bring them out. It's going to be a fun time. A fun time for the whole family. Last but not least, we're going to have a very special guest uh, next week that will be in the lobby that will have a booth support um, asking for support for the Gideons. Uh, you will, some of you will know who it is, but you know what? I'm going to let him talk. Greetings, church. We live in a world in which there is so much confusion. There is it's such an increase in chaos and violence. We live in a world in which there's uh, wars and rumors of wars and riots. We live in a culture which has lost its moral compass. We live in a culture where the elites, those of influence, uh, like our universities, actually are hostile to the scriptures and hostile to the gospel of Christ. It's like darkness descending. But we know that there's an answer to all this. It's in Jesus Christ our Lord. The, uh, the Gideons are a unique form of uh, evangelization. We have, uh, we blitz the world with scriptures. It's a, a 125 year old organization of businessmen and professionals. And we are distributing roughly 60 to 70 million scriptures a year around about 200 countries. We put Bibles in hotels and uh, medical facilities, testaments distributed to people individually. The biggest audience for the scripture, for the testaments, are the students from about fifth grade on through uh, university age. And uh, th this distribution, this blitz of scriptures, does bear fruit. We know much, much of the scriptures falls on hard ground. But I have envisioned in my mind all the time the picture of this uh, seminary professor holding up his testament and saying, I don't know where all those scriptures go, but I know where one went and it changed my life. And this is a motivation to keep putting those scriptures out there. I'm David Bjorn, a proud Gideon. Thank you for your time.